Hello and welcome to our today's config release. The config 16.1 is ready to download. With me is Lukas, the mastermind behind the Luxon config. Hello, Lukas. Hi. Thanks for joining us today. And we want to take a short look through the new functions. Um, the Luxon config 16 was a little bit a revolution of the usability of the uh, visual uh, upgrades of the Luxon config and uh, the new 16.1 follows that path, but we have something more for you. We have new function blocks and the first one, let's jump right into the config, is the new mail and call generator. Lucas, what's behind that? Yeah, in previous versions, you were already able to send calls and send emails with a simple output. Now this is much more powerful with a function block. Um, this gives you the opportunity to really generate texts, like you maybe already know from the text generator, with different variables and combine them into one text. A bonus feature is you can also send an email to a specific user, for example, when a user is charging on the wall box and after the session ended, after the charging session ended and he unplugs his car, he, he gets an email with the power he charged, for example, or the, the price or whatever. All right. Um, the wall box uh, regarding energy management is a, is a good point there because uh, energy management is that topic of the decade and uh, Luxon is following that. Uh, we got much improvements within the last years, the energy flow monitor, the load manager, everything like that. And now we have something new here. What was missing until now? Uh, respective the energy management, Lucas, what is it? Yeah, the PV production forecast was missing. So this function block tells you, depending on the forecast of the weather, um, how much power, how much energy your PV is going to produce today, tomorrow, or the day after tomorrow. Okay, so very, very easy. So if you want to realize your own logics, like loading your battery storage or something like that, especially in conjunction with the spot price optimizer that you have the, the uh, lowest spot price on the market that you can follow that and, and save money. That's a very uh, powerful new function block. But it's not everything we have in the energy management uh, in the new 16.1. We have something more regarding the spot price optimizer, Lucas. Yeah, the spot price optimizer, often the spot markets are change, changing. So for example, two months ago, one month ago, um, the European market got a new interval for 15 minutes. And previously we always needed a config update and the Miniserver update from starting with 16.1. This can update automatically and uh, the function block just learns it on the way. This was about the spot price optimizer and we have something new for our energy meter. Yeah, the energy meter has now the possibility to set the polling cycle down to 0.1 second. So 100 milliseconds from previously one second, you can set it now much lower. And if you have large loads, you can now react much faster. Yeah, and this is something uh, what's typical for Luxon. You already bought the hardware months ago and now a software update makes it even stronger and even better. And that fully free of charge because it's free for you with our updates. Um, we want to talk a little bit about the um, usability of the Luxon config and about um, yeah its its design. Uh, with the config 16, we made a huge step, and uh, there was a lot of feedback from our partners all over the world working with it. And you have heard it, and you just adopted it in the new um, config 16.1. Yeah, for example, we got the feedback that the contrast is very difficult in the current version. And that's why we updated and revised it. And you now much better see the function blocks. You can see the selection much better. And it is now much easier to see. Yeah, that makes it easy to work for you, even with small devices, maybe on the construction side, wherever you are working in the Luxon config. And the next thing uh, we heard the feedback from the partners was the property window. There's also something new. Yeah, also in here, we revised how it looks. So we improved the, the UI, but also the UX. We now have a filter up here and we changed some ordering of the parameters. So we moved, for example, here the parameters that are really important on a function block. For example, here on the light controller, the brightness threshold is really important. All the other parameters 
you most of the time don't need. So they are now behind a, a layer deeper. Yeah. And so you don't get overwhelmed with the huge amount of parameters you have here. All right. But additionally, you much see, you see the description now much faster here, and you have always have it at first sight. Yeah. If you want to uh, know more about that, you can always uh, have a look into the changelog or into the blog on our website. There you can see everything at a glance, what is new in that version, or you just uh, try the new config 16.1. Um, another thing uh, which you may recognize a few weeks ago is a new uh, app update. There was already the app 16.1. Um, you can find the video on our YouTube channel too. Just in short, look what was new with the app 16.1. Yeah, the app is now much faster, especially in the audio player. The audio player has been completely reworked from the ground up. It now also looks different. So you, you have the recent stuff you played really in, in the home screen and yeah, it's much faster. All right, best for you. Just uh, give it a try in the new Loxone config 16.1 and also an app update if you haven't done it yet. Lucas, there are also some improvements on the side of Exosphere. What's new here? Yeah, there are also a lot of small usability improvements. For example, you can now add miniservers on a specified layer here with the provisioning code, but also you can set backup settings for each level. Okay, so that's easier for you to work with Exosphere. If you haven't used Exosphere until now, you can get a free demo version of it. All infos you can find on our website. So thanks, Lucas, for joining us. That's from us today. If you like the video, just give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks for tuning in and see you next time. <laughs>